The Bible predicts a final world leader, just before Jesus returns, who will be the personification of evil. He is variously known as the man of sin, son of perdition, as the beast, and as the antichrist. Over the last century, virtually every prominent world leader at some time has been accused of being the antichrist. The latest focus is on Barack Obama. Apart from someone controlling the entire world and using that power to persecute Christians, the simplest and most objective way of identifying the Antichrist is by adding up the value of letters in his name after translating those letters into numbers. The Bible tells us that the value of the name of the Antichrist will add up to 666, the number of his name, it says. In the Hebrew alphabet, every letter has a numerical value and they even have special rules for this practice of giving numerical values to names. In the English language, only seven letters have numerical values based on the Roman numeral system. So I, V, X, L, C, D and M represent 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500 and 1000. So if a name included all of those letters only once, but no M, then its value in Roman numerals would add up to 666. But there aren't many names that could fit that criteria. It's a big job even creating a name that matches. About the shortest would be something like Vex Child, if anyone ever had such a name. Something like Calvin Ducks, Axel Vodic, or Vulcan Dixon. They would also work. To my knowledge, only one person has so far appeared on the world stage with such a title, and even that's open to dispute. Centuries ago, someone noticed that a Latin phrase used in several documents written by various popes adds up to 666 if the letter U is read as a V, the way it used to be written in the past. The title is Vicarious Fili Dei, spelt like this if you change the U to a V. Here are the values of the Roman letters in that name. The name means Vicar of the Son of God. A technicality occurs, however, when you learn that the official title of the Pope is actually Vicar of Christ, or Vicarius Christi which only adds up to 214 in Roman numerals. Nevertheless, the Seventh-day Adventists have gathered a wealth of evidence for the Pope Antichrist theory, which is certainly worthy of examination and worth thoughtful consideration with regard to what it all means. However, what has thrown so many, including the Seventh-day Adventists, off the scent of the real Antichrist is their failure to examine the mark which this world leader uses to control the world's economy. The Seventh-day Adventists, for example, say that the mark is Sunday worship, as though one could somehow use the day of the week on which one worships God as currency, buying stuff with it. An obsession with targeting the Pope by a host of Protestants and an obsession with Sunday worship by the Seventh-day Adventists has blinded the rest of the world to just how much we are under the control of the Antichrist already, with or without the Pope. There's another video on this channel called The Mark of the Beast. Please watch it to get a fuller understanding of how the Antichrist has gained almost universal control of the world. And he's done it without even firing a shot.